Hey swimmers, welcome back to this special edition of the Swim Vice Pro Analysis Swim Series. This episode is dedicated to Simone Manuel. She broke the American record in the 100 meter freestyle and back in 2019 at the World Swimming Championships with a time of 52.04 seconds. Now, before I get into detail, there are three specific key points that I will be outlining throughout the video, and they are one, her kick pattern, two, her breathing pattern, and three, the release of her high side arm for both the left and the right arm. Now, just to summarize up front, because it is a 100 meter freestyle event, she has a powerful six beat kick. And her breathing pattern that she sustains throughout the majority of the race is every two, every two, every four. And just to explain every two, every two, every four is it's every two strokes, every two strokes, every four strokes. And she actually breathes on her left shoulder. And going through the high set arm release is that she has a wide release with both the left and the right arm, throwing all of her energy forward, which is also aiding in her forward momentum connected to her kick. Now, if this doesn't make very much sense and you're new to my channel, check out the links in the pinned comment below to give you some more context in terms of those three points that'll be very useful for your training as well. All right, let's get to the video. All right, so as you can see, she's in lane one and I'm gonna go ahead and start it off in slow-mo because I want you to see her kick timing at the beginning of her first two strokes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in slow motion. There's a brief moment where there's underwater video, so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. Now bear with me, it's a little blurry, but she is right here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and play it, and I want you to see the six beat timed kick. Okay, so right as she breaks free, it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, I'll do that again. I know it's hard to see, it's okay, because I'm gonna go ahead and freeze frame it, but I do want you to see it all the way through. So it's, kick two, three, kick two, three, kick two, three. Okay, now going back, actually right there. Okay, you can see that she's kicking down with her left foot onto her right arm. So she has that diagonal timing already locked in with the propulsion of a six beat kick. So that's just a faster tempo kick, six kicks per stroke cycle. A stroke cycle is a left hand entry and a right hand entry combined. So it's two hand entries is a stroke cycle. So she is kicking six times in between each stroke cycle. Okay, so I just wanted to point that out up front. I will loop back about kick timing later on in the video, but I want you to at least see what happens underwater. And she has also a straight body, body line, heads neutral, all that looks good. Now moving on, I'm gonna fast forward this to her breathing, which you'll see actually after going through this part. So you can see over there, she's, she's starting to lead the way in the back and you can see this nice wide release of her arm, which I will zoom out for a moment. All right, so now from this aerial shot, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in right here so you can see and focus in on her lane. And as I mentioned before, her breath pattern is every two, every two, every four. So starting with her first stroke being the left arm releasing forward, that's one, two. See, she takes a breath. One, two. One, two, three, four. Okay, so this is the that brief moment where they show her actual breath pattern, but she does consistently hold this throughout her race until the very end where she actually breathes every other stroke because she's giving everything she has at the very end and she needs the oxygen to move forward and to give it her all to finish off strong. So I just wanted to point out that she tends to breathe over her left shoulder, actually this entire race, and it's every two, every two, every four, and she also takes a breath into the wall. And I'm pointing this out because as you see her breath, it's early. There's no delay. And actually I'm gonna re rewind that a little bit. So right here on this breath, it's early. She's not late, it's quick. And she has her head returning back before this arm 
actually passes her face. So she gets a early and quick breath every two, every two, every four. All right, moving on. Yeah, she's got a nice reach too on her left arm. And you see this release of her left arm here. I'm gonna point this out for the other side as well. Now, go right there. Okay, so zooming in a little bit, you see this wake, and I'm gonna point this out later as well, this energy she's creating, this bow wave she's creating from all of her power, from her kick and the release of her arm. And right here at this freeze frame of her left arm, it's releasing wide with a relaxed hand within the scapular plane. So it's not getting stuck at her hip. She's just throwing the, the arm forward, similar to fly, and generating a lot of force with that. So um, it looks really good and very powerful. And as she goes into the wall, right here, nice and slow, so you can see, she takes a breath on that final stroke and has enough control to have a good turn and a long streamline. So right here, you can see that powerful six beat kick briefly right there, that back lane. And so she's kicking from her hips and her glutes, really getting that power forward. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and play this in full speed because I want you to see how far she pulls ahead. I mean, look at that, it's insane, watch. I'm gonna back it up a little bit. And you just see her pull away. And all you see is the release of the arm is so wide and she's able to maintain a nice solid tempo. Right at the end, so right here, I wanna point out her breath pattern changed. So she was every two, every two, every four, right? Now it's every other stroke. She needs that oxygen to power through this final 15 meters as with as much strength as she possibly can. Now, going back to the kick, I mean, you clearly see everyone has a six beat, but you see her, the power of her kick is more pronounced and you just see this incredible reach with her right arm. So right here, you see this release of her right arm. Try to point this out. It basically is straight. Okay, you see that straight arm high side arm moving forward, just releasing it and throwing it forward. And it's within the scapular plane. And I do have that linked below. If you haven't watched already, this is where your shoulder wants to move without any interruption in the stroke. That's the biggest thing is it will not interrupt your stroke if your arm is moving within the scapular plane. And yeah, so she's pulling away, breathing every other stroke and finishes strong. Really fun race to watch. So yeah, a brief recap on the three points you just watched. She has a powerful six beat kick, followed by a breathing pattern of every two, every two, every four, except it changes up at that final leg of the race. And followed by a wide release of her high side arm within the stroke cycle, which connects to the momentum of her kick. All right, swimmers, if you enjoyed this video and you're looking for more tips for your training, be sure to subscribe to our monthly newsletter for more at swimvice.com.